Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I am making sticky chicken in the Instant Pot. Now I'm Kristen, I am sister number two from SixSisterStuff.com. And don't worry, if you do not have an Instant Pot, I've got you covered because down below in the description, there's also a slow cooker recipe for the sticky chicken. So I've been getting a lot of questions and comments asking for more Instant Pot recipes. So if you didn't know by now, every Monday I'm coming out with a new Instant Pot recipe. I'm going over to Six Sister Stuff, taking one of our slow cooker recipes and then changing it into an Instant Pot. So you'll always have a slow cooker way of making it and an Instant Pot way of making it. Now, if you haven't done so, be sure to make sure to subscribe to us and push that little bell so you can get all of our notifications and especially on Monday so you can get a new Instant Pot recipe. All right, you guys, let's head on over to the kitchen and make this Instant Pot sticky chicken. All right, let's get started. So on your Instant Pot, you are gonna push the saute button. Then you're gonna take two tablespoons of soy sauce and just dump it in into the bottom of your Instant Pot. Next, you're gonna take two tablespoons of white distilled vinegar. Now I know what you're thinking, vinegar in sticky chicken, that's disgusting, but it actually makes it taste so good. So don't forget your vinegar. After that, the recipe calls for four tablespoons of ketchup. Now, it's not crucial that you have to get exactly four tablespoons, so I'm just measuring here with my eyeball, but if you like to measure exactly, it's four tablespoons. As you can see, my Instant Pot is starting to heat up from the saute button, so mix around your ketchup a little bit so it won't burn in one clump. Next, you're gonna add six tablespoons of honey. And just like the ketchup, I'm just gonna eyeball this. I don't love doing tablespoons with ketchup or honey because it makes a big mess. I like it quick and easy. So I'm just estimating about six tablespoons. But I am gonna measure the sugar. So I'm going to add four tablespoons of sugar. After you've added that, just go ahead and mix it all up. And we're going to wait until it starts to boil a little bit. That's when you know the sauce is ready. All right, it only took about two minutes to get it really nice and bubbly. Now, because I am using an Instant Pot, I'm gonna add one half cup of water just to have more liquid so it will pressurize. All right, so after I've added my water, I'm gonna add one to one and a half pounds of popcorn chicken. This is Kroger popcorn chicken. It's one of my most favorite kinds. Then you're just gonna dump it in and mix it around a little bit. Now when most of your chicken has somewhat touched the sauce, it's time to add your lid. Now just remember when you're using a pressure cooker, you want it on venting, not sealing. So I cooked this on manual for seven minutes. Then I was done, I just mixed it around a little bit. The sauce will get thicker as you wait. Then when you're done, you just take it out of the Instant Pot and you serve it on your favorite rice or quinoa or whatever you like to put underneath. Hey, and before you forget, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you are new to the Instant Pot, be sure to click on our video right there. It's called Instant Pot Don'ts. It will help you figure out the things you should do and the things you shouldn't do when using your Instant Pot.